If you're looking to repair worn out asphalt, my favorite product for this is Latexite. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I have an asphalt driveway, and as you can see, this driveway has been neglected for the past couple years, and I'm just getting around to doing some repairs before I have it seal coated again. I've actually tried a bunch of different products over the past few years, and this one is absolutely my favorite. It's called Latexite Driveway Filler Sealer Airport Grade. It's a trial grade sealer, and what I love about this is it really works on three particular things. So if you look over here, we have what I call a crumbling surface. You can see how the seal coating is worn away. We are crumbling underneath. I'm getting a lot of like pitting, and the problem with this as you try to seal coat over it is that it, there are some high spots and low spots and the high spots are always going to take most of the wear and so it's just going to kind of grind it down and you can see there we have like dust and pebbles and things like that the seal coat isn't going to give it a really good covering so what i want to do is kind of fill this in and level that out now the other parts that we want to take a look at are these thin cracks that are forming in the asphalt here you know, the problem with these is that as water gets into it and snow falls and the temperatures drop, the ice will tend to split these up and they will become much, much bigger cracks, including a crack like this. That's pretty gnarly. So let's get those filled in with this too. And the last thing that we need to repair are alligatoring spots. Now that's a term I've only heard with asphalt and hopefully it's not something that you have to deal with, especially if you're doing your maintenance on it. But as you can see here, over the years, I've kind of let these cracks get away from me and I have little islands that are appearing now in the asphalt. And so not only is there a crack, but the cracks are interweaving. And so I'm getting what they call alligator skin, where you have kind of big islands of material that aren't being held together. So we're gonna use the latexite on this as well. Okay, so before you do anything here, you do wanna make sure that your driveway and asphalt surface is cleaned. I've seen some people use some Tide detergent and a power washer to clean it. You know, if you have oil or spots, you know, things that have been dripping from your cars or equipment, yeah, you definitely wanna get those up. You also wanna make sure that you get any little debris, little pebbles, any of that kind of stuff that might inhibit the adhesion of the material to the driveway off. So, you know, I'm just using this little blower here to make sure that it's nice and clean. Now here is the latex ite, and what you can see here is it kind of looks like drywall plaster, and I would say it actually has a pretty similar consistency. It's a little bit runnier than plaster. It doesn't hold its shape quite as much, but it does a couple things better. So it self-levels a little bit better, but you also can't build it up like you can with drywall plaster. It just doesn't have the same body and thickness. Now, a couple tips here. You can see that I have kept this in my garage overnight because if you leave it out in the sun, the hotter it gets, the soupier it gets. And I actually think it's easier to work with when it's cooled and has a little bit of that firmness. So it kind of goes on and can shape it a little bit easier kind of fills in the cracks without running a little bit better so i like keeping it in a cool shaded place for as long as possible before i'm about to use it now a pair of gloves is going to keep you from using a lot of pumice later to get this off and i've just been using this painter's trowel here and it is okay i would probably use something with straight edges this one has kind of a serrated edge i don't use that edge but i use the flat edge here you know something in the 10 12 14 inch range is probably gonna be fine you can probably also use a squeegee now so what we have here is this crumbling degrading broken surface area there's no specific crack or anything so all i'm going to do is go in here you can see that it comes out i'm going to put a little down here and just show you that it's this easy you just kind of push it around fill in all those little little cracks those little divots and low spots and this thing will kind of build up to no more than a quarter of an inch i mean you can kind of layer it on there but what ends up happening is that if you build it up too much it will definitely kind of crack and split as it's drying. So you don't want that, but look at that. Now I have a nice flat piece of asphalt. If we just go up here, you can see what it looked like before. See what it looks like over there. And so that is going to give a nice even surface. Okay, down here on these smaller cracks, I can go ahead and take some of this material, just kind of spread it on these cracks here. And now what I can do is just kind of push all the way through them just like that and see those cracks are filled in if I put a little of my extra stuff right there that crack is filled in pretty awesome that is sweet and wow let's try it on some of the alligatoring surfaces so this is the area where I have that alligator skin and I can just go ahead and slop some of this on here 
just like that and kind of push this through and man look at that just makes short work of that and it's going to help bond those pieces together as well as give me a flat surface so that I can come back and make sure that everything is filled in as it kind of shrinks and dries up but then also seal coat over it and hopefully preserve some of these broken areas. So here's an example of where it's been built up a little thicker, kind of filling in this low area here than it recommends. And what you can see here is that the material has cracked a little bit. Now I can kind of go over this one more time with a little bit of filler and fill in those cracks. So it's not the end of the world, but this is what can happen if it's built up just a little bit beyond its recommended specs. Of course, I show you all of these things because my driveway here is in pretty bad shape. And so I wanted to do a little triage, a little prep on it with non-traditional use of this latexite. But now the easiest way, the most reliable way, and the most conventional way to apply it is to simply open up a can of this after your driveway's prepped and just pour a little bit of the slurry out and use a squeegee to kind of spread it around just like a regular driveway sealer. So this is the before and after it dries, it looks like this. It actually turns a pretty nice dark black. You can see here that it's filled in a lot of those cracks for some of the areas where you might have some real deep cracks, that alligator skin. You might have to go over it one more time, you know, do another pass and just kind of fill those in one more time. But what I really like about this is it kind of has this matte, almost sandpaper like texture. So I think it's going to hold the seal coat in really well. So I think it's going to give it a nice, stable, solid structure to adhere to. So uh, in terms of this latex, I, I really love it. You know, it is the only product that I think most of us need, and it's actually pretty inexpensive. So for a bucket like this, the 4.75 gallon, you know, it's only 20 or 30 bucks. I would highly recommend picking this up if you are doing a little bit of repair on your asphalt driveways. I'll put a link to it in the description below. Peter Panda out.